Hey everybody, it's Liz. I haven't made a cooking video in a while. So tonight we're gonna make one of my favorite dishes that goes with the diet. This one is basically our pasta dish, only we're gonna cook it in red wine. I mean, talk about a fabulous addition to our red wine diet. Pasta cooked in red wine. The good thing about this too is the red wine burns off as it's cooking, so it's all good for your kids if they wanna eat it too, but it's also super delicious. So what we're gonna need tonight to get this started, we're gonna use some whole wheat pasta. And then um, the wine you're gonna use, well this one I got at um, Total Wine. This is like when you're gonna bring in the three buck chuck from Trader Joe's. This one is $2.99 from um, Total Wine. It still tastes good, um, but it's just, when you know, if you're gonna cook with it, you don't wanna use your most expensive wine. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in um, three cups of red wine in our pot. I kind of... That was the alarm that went off that you heard. It seems to go off whenever I turn the oven on. I'm not exactly sure why, so sorry about that. So anyway, I just added two cups. Here's a third cup of red wine. And then I'm just gonna fill up my pot with water so it's right for boiling. So I'm gonna bring it over here, move some cups out of the way, and fill this up about halfway with my pot so it has enough water to boil the pasta really nicely. So what we're gonna do now is just turn on the pasta, hopefully the bump beeper doesn't go off and we'll get started with the other ingredients that go in here. So we're going to start this going here. I'm going to put on the back burner and let's get this going. Front to back. I really want to use the front burner. Okay, we're going to use the front burner for this one because it turned on. All right, we're going to put it on high. We're going to cover, oh, something felt like it's still going. And uh, yeah, the cooking with gas is a challenge. So anyway, we're, I like to cover up like it boils faster when you keep that heat in so we're going to cover up our pasta pot get that boiling and that should be good to go all right so what we're going to put, put in just a second hang on i'm going to make this stop They just put in a new fire detector today and I'm happy to say it's working. Okay, so back to cooking. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna get, um, so we're gonna cook with asparagus and you could put your asparagus in the pan and steam it, but I personally really like my asparagus um, in the oven. So we are going to take our asparagus, lay it out on the pan, lovely, and we are going to take some olive oil Pour that on top, just you know, just kind of drizzle some olive oil on there. Yum! And then we're going to take some salted pepper, and we're going to put some ground pepper on there. I love these little grinder things, don't you? They're so fun. Okay, put that on there. And then my favorite, you guys know this, I love kosher salt. So we're going to put on a bunch of kosher salt, and we're going to put our asparagus in the broiler and let that broil. I just like it better that way. So we'll stick that in. That's going. So we got our asparagus going. The next thing we want to do is cut up our, what we're basically going to put in our pasta today, our um, red and orange peppers. We have the asparagus. We're going to put in spinach. And, oh, yum, this is delicious. We're going to add pine nuts. And when you do your pine nuts, you're going to do one tablespoon of pine nuts for how many people you're serving um, this evening. So I'm cooking for four, so I'm going to use four tablespoons of pine nuts. Remember, though, when I'm making this, I can make it way far in advance for the week and then have it for myself. But tonight I'm having some family over, so we're going to be cooking it for everyone. We're also going to cut up some little cherry tomatoes to put in. And we've got some Parmesan cheese to top. And last but not least, we want to pull out the chicken. I should have chicken in here. Let's see. And you guys know I like, um, here, hi, I'm back. I like the chicken from Trader Joe's. So I'm going to um, defrost the chicken, and then I'm going to have that going. So what we have going right now on the pot, we have our wine and water boiling to get ready for the pasta. We're bringing it to a boil. We're going to be, we have our asparagus in the oven cooking that up to add to our dish. We're gonna cut up our peppers, and we are going to cut up our tomatoes and put that all together. Now, I'm not exactly sure how to bring my two videos together, so we're gonna call this part one, this is getting ready, okay? So, once again, we have three cups of red wine, 
and then we fill it up the about halfway full with water. We're gonna bring that to a boil. While that's boiling, we put our asparagus in the oven. We put a lot of olive oil, salt, and pepper on that. Then we're gonna cut up our, we're defrosting our chicken. We're gonna cut up our peppers, cut our tomatoes. On, I think that's good. Oh, don't forget you need the pesto too. Mmm, pesto, great. And then your other ingredients would be your pesto, your Parmesan. Um, this is shredded Parmesan cheese. You can do it yourself if you want. I just picked this up at the store. It just seemed a little bit easier because you know me, it's all about convenience. And I think we're good to go. And once again, whole wheat pasta. And don't forget your pine nuts. That's going to be one tablespoon per person. Okay, I'll be back in a little. Have this all ready to go. Thanks.